Hello Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Aquarius. So if your Sun sign does not resonate so much this week, you might like to check out your Moon sign or your Rising sign and for Love and Romance, your Venus sign because often these readings contain messages that are important to you at this time. For private readings that are specific to you and your circumstances, you can visit katytarot.com. Let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy for the week ahead. Aquarius, please. Guidance for Aquarius, please, spirit. Guidance for Aquarius. If you like the reading, give it a thumbs up. Let me know you like the content. Subscribe to the channel, press that notification bell. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Remember to check in with your intuition because often you will see an answer to a question or you will receive guidance through this reading and through your own intuition and your own interpretation of what the cards mean for you personally. Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Guidance for Aquarius, this card here. Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Guidance for Aquarius, guidance and messages. Your energy, Aquarius, the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first card, your first message. We have the pale, the symbol of the pale, a time to get out of a situation. It's time, Aquarius. It's time. You know that it's time to get out of a situation. What this situation is, is going to be different for each and every one of you. But you will know if this resonates for you. You will know if it's time to get out of a situation. It might be a workplace. It might be a relationship. It could be a friendship or a love relationship, perhaps. You will know what this means for you specifically. But Spirit is saying this week is a great time to get moving. It's a great time to get the ball rolling on change. We have the symbol of the target, a goal oriented person. You may see this very strongly in another person this week. They may be very goal oriented. They may come to you. You may see this in them. But I am seeing for you, Aquarius, you're going to be really on point when it comes to what you have to do this week and the goals that you have to achieve. I feel that when it comes to... Um, this energy here of the pale time to get out of a situation. I feel that there is a blessing of boundaries. I feel that boundaries come into play here. And if you are really focused on this and, and you have a, a goal, um, you have a desire uh, for boundaries in some kind of way, um, then a blessing is going to come through. So you're going to really flourish and come into abundance when this blessing of boundaries comes into your life. So I really love that energy. Broken rings, parting of the ways in either romance or business. So perhaps there is a separation going on here. And that's why the boundary energy is coming up. There is a separation in romance or in business. So you may be separating from a workplace, for example, or a career and going in a completely different direction. We have a fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray or white hair. This could be you, Aquarius, if that resonates for you. Uh, this may also be someone that you are dealing with or very significant in your life this week. We have the symbol of the bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Yes, that's what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius. This uh, period of prosperity and abundance is around you. And I feel that if you're able to put up those boundaries, if you're able, able to move away from a situation that no longer serves you, then this prosperity and abundance will be able to flow through into your life. Let's take a look at this card and this message. Stepping into power. Oh, I love it. You are strong beyond measure. 
This week is about gaining or bringing back or feeling that power, that self-power, that empowerment within yourself. You as a leadership in your own life, stepping into your true purpose. You are strong beyond measure, Aquarius. Do not let anyone take that away from you. You may be building back up your self-confidence. You may be having to say goodbye to old situations, which may be difficult. But if you put up those boundaries, I feel that you're going to have blessings pour into your life and you will be able to step into your power this week. Yes, I love it, Aquarius. Free spirit, be your own person. Perhaps someone has been trying to keep you suppressed or keep you down in some way, emotionally, mentally, maybe in the actions that you're wanting to take. It doesn't align with someone else in your life, but you feel intuitively that's what you want to do. Be your own person. Be authentic. Be in your own power. This energy is around you and I love it. Freedom awaits you. We have the daffodil, perception, these magnificent heralds of spring are literally trumpeting the joy of freedom, of learning to be yourself. Wow, that is so powerful because that message is what has come up with these two cards. You're stepping into your power and freedom and it's saying it here on this card as well. So when that happens, Aquarius, it means that spirit really wants you to take note of this message. The joy of freedom of learning to be yourself. Daffodil wants you to see the light, to perceive the beauty and perfection and wholeness that is you, just as you are. It is time to release any self-doubt and, re and revel in the freedom and weightlessness of endless possibilities. New doors and opportunities will open up for you. There will be endless possibilities once you step into your power. I just love this reading, Aquarius. It's so powerful. We have the eight of discs around you. So the eight of discs means that you're working hard on something. You're really diligently working very much very much falling into this energy of a goal orientated energy. So I feel that um, being reiterated here with the skill energy, the eight of discs, you're working on something very uh, diligently and you're going to get things done. We have the knight of discs husbandry. Yes. So the knight of discs means that it's slow going. It's a slow pace. But you're learning as you're going and you're also making things right as you go. So you're putting things in their proper place, emotionally, mentally, in your life. You are making sure that there are, um, that things are going to go smoothly in the future because you have really planned things out now in your life. So that's really going to pay off for you. Take things slowly, but surely. The two of swords, this can mean indecision, um, indecision about a communication that you're wanting to have with someone or indecision about a choice. But I feel there may be some opposition here coming in. Um, another person may be uh, not really wanting you to step into your power or holding you back in some way. You'll have to discern who that is. But there is an energy here of you making the right choice. If you connect your mind as well as your heart. So if you can connect up what you're feeling and what you're thinking and then act in that way or make that choice, you're really not going to um, have a negative outcome here. It's going to be very positive for you. We have the King of Cups. So Aquarius, you may have a water sign around you. This King of Cups energy um, for you personally, you embodying this energy means that there's a lot of um, open heartedness here, a lot of compassion, a lot of, I want to say, um, actually charity. You might be volunteering or you might be doing something in the community. So I'm seeing that broader energy come into play for you this week. I'm seeing um, animals and pets taking a, a priority in your life or um, your garden, perhaps, or plants or nature. 
um, nature as medicine even is coming to mind here. So I'm feeling that you're very connected to the earth and, and nature and the natural elements this week. It's going to be very positive for you. Um, on the emotional front, this is emotional maturity. So no matter what you have been through or what you are separating from, you are going to be in the best stead if you um, embody this emotional maturity. And the nine of wands is recovery. So the energy of recovery, maybe mentally or emotionally or physically, you're in recovery mode. You have been hurt or you have been injured in some way, shape or form. Um, by your circumstance of an event or a person. But I do feel that with this card, it means that you're really getting back on your feet and you will be able to step into your power. There is a freedom that is coming up for you, which I love. And you're taking things slowly. You're taking things um, slowly so you can plan ahead and be prepared and that is the best way and freedom is on the way remember to be your own person and be authentic and and be happy to be you and your uniqueness is really going to shine and so I'm seeing that um, you're going to break out of old patterns here if that's what you want to do so you've got some amazing energy around you Aquarius I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all again soon